thing about the departure of Shep Smith and mm. how that was maybe a harbinger of some things to come. And I think this premise was always a bit unsustainable. Fox News used people like Shep and Chris and Brett Baer to say, look, we, we have a news division. We, yes, we have our entertainment side, but we also have news people. Except, as, as Julia mentioned, the news side uh, was reporting on stuff that the entertainment side started contradicting and calling fake news. Right. Uh, that was bad. And then the entertainment side started openly attacking people like Chris and Shep uh, for, for their reporting of the news. That's unsustainable. So when you have this carve out and say, look at someone like Chris Wallace as evidence that we're in this sort of clean category, but then you don't protect him from attacks inside the building, it's mm. no wonder he, want, he wanted to leave and do something new. And very recently, the Washington Post said that when Tucker Carlson's uh, pro, you know, his um, uh, one six truther documentary came out, that Chris Wallace and Brett Baer complained internally. They were uncomfortable with the conspiracy theory uh, stuff that's coming out of prime time. But you know what's been happening for Fox for years is news is shrinking, right wing alternative programming is growing and growing and growing, and so there's less and less room for Chris Wallace. Will Bunch, what's your view of today's breaking news? Mm. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I think this kind of makes a mockery out of their original. Uh, mantra of fair and balanced that they started out with 25 years ago. You know, like as he said, uh, you know, the presence of, you know, Chris Wallace and and uh, and Brett Baer and some of these other um, and Shepard Smith certainly, uh, you know, gave them the opportunity to say, look, you know, we have a new side. Uh, we we challenge conservatives. You know, Chris Wallace uh, almost every week. I mean, he had access to Republican insiders and he challenged them regularly, and that was a service for all of us, frankly, because. Other media outlets don't always have access to some of these Republican figures, and Chris Wallace gave them a hard time. And this is kind of an Adam Kinzinger, you know, Liz Cheney, like you said, moment for the for the right wing media, just like the Republican Party. You know, is there is there a place for moderates? Is there a place for people who will question the um, you know Trumpist status quo? And um, you know, he may have had other reasons for moving on. Like he said, he's been doing this for 18 years. You know, I hope he finds personal happiness in whatever he does. But you have to think the uh, just incredible rightward, rightward drift of Fox in the last couple of years played a big part in this. Mm. Fox Can I just say, Brian, I don't, I, well, yes, I don't want to yeah, interrupt, but... No, please. I, well, I just want to say, it's not... I don't think the question, to, to Will's point, is, is there room for moderates? It's, is there room for journalists? Chris Wallace mm -hmm. was not yeah. defined ideologically. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, is there a room for journalism at Fox? As you said, Brian, the entertainment side has really been encroaching on the news side. I mean, it's almost all of day side now is, you know, outnumbered in the five and these sort of entertainment projects. That's the fundamental and existential question. Mm. Fox does say rotating.